Hey, 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 welcome, welcome. You are on my channel, Ready, Set, Blah. My name is Isaac Alisma. I will be your host. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. I love you for that. It's a good blah whenever you're around me. You just make me feel so blah. You understand? <laughs> so um, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, share, comment um, on my channel, on my videos. I really would appreciate that. That makes me feel good. And I, I'll respond to you. I really will. Um, and check all my other social media out. All Ready, Set, Blah. Um, at Ready, Set, Blah on all of them. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. All the stuff. All the social. All the cool guy, cool girl stuff. Um, just make sure you do that. And make sure to check the other videos out on this channel. I mean, this is Blah of the Day, which is amazing. But uh, make sure to check the other stuff out. You know, relationship is I mean, Dr. Love... Dr. Love was at a forum last week, and he just, he changed thousands of lives just from, like, the, the love that he was giving off and the advice. You got to check him out. You know, he's just going to just bring some love into your life. Tyrone Jenkins, conspiracy brother, man, he, he put me on game to a situation I didn't even know existed. You know what I mean? Like, he, he is a just historian in everything. Like, he's amazing, and you, you should check him out. Um, and like always, I only watch one news channel that's Prime Time with Pookie Jones. Ain't nobody else getting my subscription on news. He's I go to him first. He hooks it up. Uh, but today you are here on Blah of the Day. And the Blah of the Day today is should you blah in front of your spouse or your significant other loved one? Hmm. Should you? That is... Now, farting is one of those things. I don't know. It, it's a 50-50. Taking a dump. 50 50 it all depends on your relationship like how how close are you like some couples have been together for years decades they still do not leave the uh the door open when they take a dump or they don't fart in front of their significant other others they do that week one so it really depends on like your flow like your vibe like how are you guys feeling about it to me um, you have to gain that. That's like, that's credit that you have to earn. You just can't like first day, hey baby, uh, you know, man, so I'll, I'll take a chip. <laughs> like, no, that should not happen. Like, we need to like each other. You, you better be fine because you can't, you can't get through a fart on the first day. Like, it's, unless it's like a funny fart. Funny farts are very different. Like, if y'all are laughing and then they fart, like, that's different. But like, you just can't be like, you had the paella and then like, you know, just like rip one and then like, how are we supposed to talk after that? Like, what's the next thing? What do you say? You know what I mean? So, but it all depends. It all depends. Some people are really cool with that. Uh, I don't know. It would depend. It depends on how fine they were. But that's, that's the shallowness in me. But anyway, um, but like some, as far as the number two, whew, man, that's the thing. Like with your significant other, like when you look at them. You just don't think that they use number two. Like, they don't take dumps. But they do. And that's what's weird about it. So, hmm. I wonder, like, how I could kind of sort of, like, frame it in a way to make it sound, like, cute or positive a number two. Uh, maybe you should put your headphones on when they're having a number two. Just so it kind of, like, lessens the blow. Uh, because the smell, I mean, we all know dumps don't smell good. So you don't want that coming from, you know. But then other people do. So it all depends. I, I know a couple, literally, they said within two weeks they were taking dumps in front of each other. Okay, that sounded really bad. That was not a good blah. Um, they were in the same vicinity as each other when they were taking dumps, and they fart, and it's just a part of life. Um, I mean, hey, I wish to aspire for that sort of love and trust because that sounds terrible to me. I'm not going to lie. I You know, like, I need some space when you fart. I mean, even I need space for myself. There's sometimes I fart and I'm disappointed in myself. Like I fart and I'm like, God dang, like, man, you are messing up, Isaac. Like you need to, you need to eat more, eat some more greens. Like, man. So like, if I'm feeling that about me, imagine if, you know, my lady's right next to me. Oh man. Like, and then she's going to have to smell it and act like it's not bothering her, you know? Um, but Hey, but also that it takes love to be able to receive a fart and act like it's not bothering you. So watch that. Watch out for that. That's a tip I got from Dr. Love. So tune in to Dr. Love. That's a tip I got. If somebody can fart in front of you and you just act like it's like cool just to not make them feel, that's a keeper. 
Like, because sometimes you just rip it on accident. Just, like, you just rip it. You didn't mean to. You moved to the left too fast, and you just farted. Like, if they can be cool and act like nothing happened, even though their nose hairs are burning, that's the keeper. Dr. Love put me onto that. Like, for real. Like, that's, that's blah. That's real blah right there. But, uh, yeah, just whatever your take is on that, I, I, it's so intricate. It's very intricate. It really depends on you as a person and what you're comfortable with and situational. Um, I mean, to a bit, tune in to Dr. Love. He'll, he'll give you that, that answer. I mean, Dr. Love's really good at that. But um, like always, thank you so much for coming. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. Make sure that you appreciate yourself, whatever you're doing, whatever you think you can do, you can do. You put your mind to it. You plan it out. You work hard. You got it. You know what I mean? So, um, peace and love. Blah.